zombie can't destroy all the shit. Yeah. Um, let's see, there's episode four. There's the bounty hunter mission. So you have to have all the bounty hunters unlocked to get this. Doesn't say anything. There's episode five open. And here's episode six. And there's not really a lot to do. I can't remember correctly. This table? I can't remember what it was. There was like a certain area that was just undestroyable. Or I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. So now we go through to the jungle and wastes. Story, please. Obviously, we can only do the story. So, uh, episode four, New Hope, chapter two. Through the journal and wastes. I want. I'm. Not, I can't actually remember correctly what versions of the films these are based off of, because I think it's honestly a mixture. I'll explain later, like the final mission, because there's a, a very good. Go for it. Oh my god. Makes reference to events that are about to happen. Also, new is actually the Jowl's weapons because about that they stun things like R2 can. So I, mean, I don't think I ever actually showed off in the. Oh yeah, I did show it off in the original game actually with R4. I don't actually understand this change, why in this version they just run through and nick them. Here he is, old Ben Kenobi. He can't be Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I switch to him because he's obviously more fun to use. Tuscan Raiders are nearby, I can tell. They usually start but return in large numbers. Oh, Alec Guinness. Oh, here they come. I'll be honest, I think this level is rather a bit boring, just kind of drag on a bit. And I actually got stuck in it like the first time. I wish there was like something with Obi-Wan or like Old Ben. Because, uh. Uh, what's the one I'm thinking of? Because he is old, obviously. I doubt he could do all the flips and tricks he used to do. I think actually this one requires a lot of studs to get the uh, the uh, true Jedi. Oh, I think another one. I remember there's one that I think I can do that it's easy to do. Oh, uh, quickly use the fork, Luke. Uh, mini kit in there. You need midget characters. Oh, we destroyed probably one amount of person's food. This one always bugs me on how to get it, because it turns out you have to do a trick that... Hang on, I'll show you. Because it doesn't actually give you any indication. That one always frustrated the absolute shite out of me. I think it's over here. Oh, no, it's got to go back over there. Uh, it never actually gave you any indication on how to do it. And it always frustrated the utter... Oh my god. Here, it doesn't tell you you can go over here and you have to destroy that. That really, really got on my nerves. Still does because of how annoying that is. Just glide. Oh, it struck me. Oh. 
take that. There's the crashed escape pod for some reason. Oh yeah, so there's the slapping feature, like more hand-to-hand -hand combat. Nope. Ah, oh, damn it, really? Maybe they'll stay in stealth. Well, like the purple ones. Uh, yep. Okay, that makes that a bit easier. I will be honest, like I said, this is more fun to play than the uh, original. But that's not saying the original is a bad game, it's just this did improve on practically everything. Well, mostly. I've never understood why you just build these and destroy them. Why can you get stuck to just building them? Oh, that one always frustrated the crap out of me. Oh, yeah, I can uh, build that up some studs. I don't know what signal that's sending. Or if it's even broadcasting anything. Oh, yeah. There's another one just here. Oh, he glitched. Hopefully my Lego Star Wars 2 disc is better than the uh, original one, because I don't want this to freeze at the end of a level. Wouldn't that be a real kicker? I don't really want to have to replace any more of my discs. I know there's one game that definitely still doesn't work, I'm just holding onto it because of a... Well, no, I don't know it does work. On my Shadow the Hedgehog wheel, that one. Was, oh my god. Uh, that one had. Oh my god. At, the, at the, this point, by the time this is going, I'm still playing Shadow the Hedgehog for the channel. But I would just like to point out Shadow the Hedgehog is long, long since finished with me. Well, when I say long since finished, it's been finished about a few days now. I'm still yet to uh, record its follow up. Because the way I record on my channel, I see what has the least footage. Because at the minute I've got videos up ready until September 20th, and it's only August 15th. It's a month and five days. And because uh, of that, yeah. And this was the uh, day, like since I work on the three day cycle, this, this is day one of the cycle. And this one was l lacking in the most content really. So this is why I'm recording this now. Just a little brief insight to how my schedule works. Okay, so... Thank you. I can't remember which game it was that introduced the ten of these studs. Oh, hang on, that was more like a Batman. Um... So I've got to be honest, I do like the simplistic score here. I know it's still by John Williams the London Symphony Orchestra. But I like the simplicity of the fact that it's uh, sounds like it's being beaten up by something that would be used in, say, a forest or uh, a desert. Also, luckily this game doesn't have any 100% useless characters. Looking at you, Palpatine. I think they give him a gun in this version, I'm not sure. Can I destroy these or...? No, I needed a, uh... I need a, what's it called? Uh... Bounty hunter for that. This is the one that has a shoot. Yeah. This one has a shoot, which I just fell down. And that happens. Now we go inside. I was about, I'm, about, I'm thinking now, I'm, this is the second level, I'm, I'm this far in the second level, I still haven't picked up one piece of minikit yet. 